Hi, One Cycle friends. It's Mary. Happy St. Patty's Day. <laughs> Have on my Irish tights for you. Um, just thought we, I would try to do a little bit of a yoga session. I'm very new to this recording thing, so not sure if it's going to all work out. Um, we're missing having One Cycle open, but hopefully we can still come together as community and we can share with each other and hopefully just spread a little love and kindness, whatever we need to do to get through this um, terrible time that we're going through right now. So I wish you all a happy St. Patrick's Day. We'll go through a little sequence, probably sun salutations. Maybe we'll have different names for some of the poses because of St. Patrick's Day. And uh, I'm going to pick us an angel card today. So here's my little special box that I always bring with me. And I'm going to pick an angel card for all of us. So I'm just going to kind of reach in here, see what we get, and um, go from there. And I'll share with you what we get. Hopefully it will be something that we all need. Oh, <laughs> this one's kind of really appropriate for what's going on right now. It's education. So, yes, I think right now is a time when we all have to listen to what's being told to us and be educated and smart about what's going on. So let's just all just take a moment, find a comfortable seat on your mat. I'm not really sure how this video is going to work, if you're going to be able to see the sequence that I'm going to present. Um, I'll try to adjust as I can. So let's just take a few minutes, find your comfortable seat, wiggle around, find where it feels good, and just sit for a moment and then just close the eyes. And perhaps you leave the palms facing up, a little bit of giving and receiving, give what you can, take what you need, or perhaps you just leave the palms down for a little bit of grounding. I might switch in between the two. Goodness knows we can use both right now. So just take a moment and perhaps let's just start. Allow the breath to enter through the nose, inhale deeply. Exit through the mouth, let it go. Another breath just like that. Inhale deeply. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. One more. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. Now with your next inhale breath, let's raise the arms. Let's interlace the fingers. And as we exhale, just let those interlaced fingers come over to the right. Nice side body stretch. Inhale, let's come back to center. Exhale, let's come over to the opposite side. Again, nice little side body stretch, little rainbow type shape for our St. Patty's Day. And then inhale, we'll come back to center. And exhale, we'll release the right hand to the left knee, left arm behind. Let's come into a nice little twist. At the top of the twist, let's lift the chin off the chest. Inhale, let's come back to center and raise the arm. Slight look up. And exhale, let's twist to the opposite side. Inhale, let's come back to center. Exhale, let's just bow forward. Oh, here I come heading towards you. But let's just bow forward and allow the fingertips to touch towards the earth and just bow down. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, audible sigh. One more breath. And then I invite you to allow the body to rise. And then I just, just allow yourself to come onto your back. Oops, where it might get a little crazy, where I might have to play around with where I put the computer so we can get the maximum benefit of what you need to see. But just come onto your back and then just allow the knees to come into the chest and give a little rock and roll from side to side. Allow the neck to be long. Allow any tension in the forehead to release. Perhaps bring the palms to the knees and just 
guide the knees in gentle circles. First in one direction, and then in the opposite direction. And then releasing the feet to the mat. On the inhale breath, just raise the right leg to the sky. Give the leg a little rub from thigh to calf, calf to thigh. And when that feels complete for you, just interlace the hands and walk the hands up the leg any amount. And then just extend the opposite leg long. Yeah, this video will be very strange, sorry. I think I need to duck like the, my little laptop up a little bit more so you can get a full view and not just my legs or the middle section of my body. Sorry for that. Hopefully you can hear what I'm guiding you through. And then before releasing that right leg, let's bend the left knee and allow the left foot to remain on the mat. And then just cross the right leg over the left. And first, just take that right hand and just glide along the inner thigh, just stopping right above the knee with a gentle suggestion of further hip opening. Engage through the right foot and ankle toes heading towards the knee and then with your next inhale breath lift the left leg off the mat reach the hands through and come into that figure of four stretch so it should feel a nice stretch in that left outer hip I'm gonna back this up just a little bit while you're holding your stretch so just take your time pay no attention to this woman trying to change <laughs> how your video is going to come out <laughs> There, hopefully this will be a little bit better for you. Hopefully you'll see things a little bit better. There we go. How's that? A little bit better. So we're in this right leg on top of left. That little figure of four pose. Perhaps you extend the left leg to the sky. Feel a nice little outer hip stretch in the right side. And then releasing the hands, return that left foot to the mat and then cross right completely over left. Let's bring the arms out to a T or maybe cactus. Inhale. And as you exhale, your legs are going to come off to the left side of your mat. See if you can keep your shoulders grounded. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, your gaze might come to the right side. The gaze is opposite the knee in this lying down twist. Inhale and exhale here. Let the dog go. Let it release. The next inhale breath, just bring the knees back to center and exhale, let them cross. And before we move on to the opposite side, let's just bring the knees into the chest. Let's just give a little gentle rock and roll once again. Let me just refresh my screen. Sorry. And then with your next inhale breath, let's leave the right leg on the mat and let's extend the left leg to the sky. Again, let's just give a little rub up and down. And then when that feels complete for you, let's interlace the fingers and walk the hands up the leg any amount, getting a nice little hamstring stretch. And then perhaps extend the right leg on down to the mat. Get a little hip flexor stretch on that opposite side. Inhale and exhale. Allow the neck to be long on your mat. Really letting the back of the head rest into the mat. Chin draws a little bit in towards center. And before releasing that left leg, let's bend the right. And then as you bend the left leg, let's allow it to rest on top of the right thigh. Engage through the left ankle and foot. Inhale, let's lift the right leg off the mat, interlace the hands, hold on to the back of the right thigh, figure four stretch, and perhaps you play a little bit with bending the right leg to the sky, you decide. Inhale and exhale here, allow the breath to be full, allow that inhale breath to fill you so that as you exhale, you deepen into the posture. One more breath. And releasing the right foot to the mat, let's cross the legs completely over, arms out to a T or cactus. Inhale, and as you exhale, legs will now come off to the right side. 
Feed is opposite to legs. If you'd like to deepen into the twist, you can just keep your shoulders grounded as you come into the twist. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, release back to center, and exhale and uncross. And then just extend the legs long and widen the feet. So allow the legs to perhaps come off the mat really nice and wide. I'm somewhat out to the side. We'll come into this star, or today we'll call it shamrock pose. Then inhale, let's bring everything in back towards center. And this time holding on to the back of the thighs. Give three generous rock and rolls to come up to a sitting position. And then once you're up to the sitting position, let's find our way to that comfortable seat just for a moment. And then we're going to make our way directly to tabletop. So in this tabletop position, just find your balance. Find your wrists directly aligned under the shoulders the knees under the hips and the knees about hip distance apart. On the inhale breath, we're going to drop the belly, lift the head and neck. On the exhale breath, we're going to press that mat away and round the back. So your inhale breath is that cow. Your exhale breath is that cat. See if you can just guide with your breath. And within the next breath or two, just bring yourself to stillness in your tabletop position and allow yourself to align. Crown of the head, straight ahead. Nice long line of energy from crown to the tail. On the inhale breath, we'll lift the left arm with the thumb facing the ceiling. And first we'll extend the right leg behind. And then we'll just allow the toes to lift off the mat, just keeping the leg in line with the hip. So it's a beginning balance pose, this beautiful sunbird. Perhaps today you feel like you might need a little bit of heart opening, so you reach that arm around and behind for the bent leg, and you lift towards the sky. I'm going to refresh my computer. Not really sure how this video is going to turn out. I apologize. So for those that are coming back to the video, you might just reach back for that bent right knee, come into a little heart opening version. Gaze is still towards the floor. Then inhale, we'll come back to sunburn. Exhale, hand to knee, we'll come to the mat. This will bring big toes together, knees apart, and let's cross back into our first child. Today we'll call it Blarney Stone Pose. And maybe you just kind of give a little rock from side to side as you allow yourself to settle in. Feel the length. Maybe you come up at the fingertips a little more active in the arms. You decide. Then with your next inhale breath, we'll come back to tabletop. And then as you exhale, we're just going to release and align once again. Your next inhale breath, raise the right arm with the thumb facing the ceiling. Extend the opposite leg behind. And then just lift the leg off the mat. So front of hip bones facing towards the mat, sunburn. If you'd like the heart opening version, perhaps reaching back. A little heart opening version. You decide, take what you need, give what you can. And then reaching back into that sunburn, you'll release the hand and knee to the mat. And this time, instead of coming into our Blarney Stone Pose. Let's reach the arms forward and let's come into Irish Setter Puppy Pose. Extend the arms long. Feel the length in the back and the spine. Inhale and exhale here. And then begin to walk the hands back towards the body, keeping the wrists slightly in front of the shoulders. Let's tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back for our first downward facing dog. I'm just going to refresh my computer again. I'll figure that out eventually. Our first downward facing dog. So let's give the feet a nice little pedal. Maybe give the hips a little rock and roll from side to side. Ah, maybe we inhale and we come forward into our plank and then our up dog. And then we exhale 
maybe you release back into downward facing dog. Little rolling movements, maybe plank, up dog, and then your downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale and exhale here. With your next inhale breath, let's raise the right leg. Exhale, step it through to the hands. Left leg will follow. Hang in your fold. Inhale and exhale here. Let it go. The next inhale breath, palms to the shins or perhaps the thighs, come into half lift. Exhale, we come back. Inhale, let's reach the arms forward, mini chair for a moment, then rise, and then exhale, plank pose, heart center. And as you bring the hands to your heart center, let's just give a little, little voice of gratitude for everything that's being done to keep us safe, to try to keep us all healthy. Remembering our angel card, education. With our next inhale breath, arms will rise. Exhale, we bow and we fold. Inhale for your half lift. Exhale, fold. We're gonna step or jump the feet back, plank pose. From this plank pose, come forward onto the toes and then lower down slowly. Untap the toes and we glide. Baby cobra. Exhale, we lower. Let's tuck the toes, lift up and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, it steps through to the hands. Right will follow. Hang in your fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, let's reach the arms. Exhale, hands at heart center. 